I feel like I'm starting over. Have you ever felt that way? Well, I think this happens often in entrepreneurship, solopreneurship particularly, if, especially if you are an, an eager student of how do I improve things and how do I uh, find the most optimal path for myself to express my energy signature, to uh, find that blessed intersection between what the world wants and what I can best contribute, what I'm most, most passionate also about contributing to the world. So even though I've, I started my business, technically started my business in 2009, and ever since 2009, I've been making a full-time income in my business every single year. I'm really grateful to be able to support myself and my family just since, since at least 2000, sorry, 2009, 2010 were like part to full-time income. Starting 2011 has been full-time income, able to support, you know, support uh, more than just me. Um, year after year after year. And it's been generally, generally it's been growing uh, year by year with some some dips, but it's been quite stable. Still, after having, you know, 10,000 followers on my, you know, uh, Facebook and Instagram and 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, I still feel like I'm starting over now, this year, today. And I think it's because I see all of the problems that uh, I see in, in the, my business, all the opportunities, you might say, for improvement. Like, for example, I wish that I could give my clients an even quicker win at the beginning when they start in my programs. I want them to have uh, as quick of a sense of progress as possible. So I'm actively working on uh, my onboarding and my first steps in my program so that they feel that sense of accomplishment soon so that they can feel more empowered to continue taking steps. Um, I also feel like my content, uh, I've been consistent, as you might see, with content for many years now. Since, since at least 2015, I've been consistently showing up several times a week to you know, on YouTube and on my social media uh, and on my blog, blog is once a week and social media several times a week. I've been consistent with that. However, consistency is not the only important factor because if you keep doing the same thing, and I feel like this for myself, if I keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and seeing similar results, like, you know, my, my social media has grown very gradually over the years. Occasional bumps, but most of it's just very, very gradual. You know, people leave, people, people, new people discover me, people leave, people discover me. And it's just very gradual change over the over the years. And I see others who are growing more rapidly because they are more diligent about improving their content you know, on a regular basis, whereas I kind of just show up and I, sure, I am authentic and I always aim to express my energy signature and, and feel more into what that feels like and, and strengthen my connection to, you know, my divine source and, and try to express the, the, whole, the wholeness of who I am when I'm showing up for content. And yet, I haven't done that in as deliberate of a way as I would like to. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a system for deliberate practice to improve my content, my programs, my courses, you know, and, and just my overall uh, business systems. And so in that way, because I am starting to be way more intentional about my system of improvement, I feel like I'm starting over. And, and of course, I feel like, gosh, if only I had been this intentional about improving my business systems early on, right? Every single system, content, offers, you know, group programs, courses, da, 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 all these things. If I had been more intentional, I would be even farther along today. But of course, if you talk to the George Cow from 2009, 
I'm sure he would have said, I'm doing my very best to be as intentional as I can to put the systems in place because I don't even, at that point, I didn't even know what systems I needed to put in place. And you talk to the George Cow from 2013, for example, he would have said, hey, I'm doing my very best to try to improve what I'm doing right now and to put better systems in place or whatever. And now you're talking to the George Cow of, you know, as I'm recording this 2024, and I feel like I'm starting over because I have this uh, greater clarity now about what I need to be more intentional about going forward. And so in that way, I'm actually glad that I don't have more followers, subscribers, and clients at this point. I have, like I said, I'm grateful to have a full-time business and have had that for years and and income is just fine. And, you know, I have, uh, right now I have two group programs. One has 80 members and the other one has almost 100 members. I have, you know, dozens of course sales every month. So things are, things from the outside look like, oh, it seems to be going, but I see so much room for improvement. I see so much opportunity for, for me to do even better for my students, my members, my clients, my audience, you. And so that's why I feel like I'm starting over. And that, that's why I feel like, you know what? I only so-called only have 10,000 fans. <laughs> Not everyone is a true fan, but 10,000 overall fans. I, I'm glad that you know, I don't have a hundred thousand right now or a million or whatever, because I know that there's so much more room to grow. And as I put better systems in place, as I optimize my systems and my processes and show up with even more value for you, then my future fans will be getting much more value than my current fans are. And I hope you'll stay with me and see how I evolve over the years. Um, but but this is this is you know back then when you know 2009 when I had zero fans, zero money, zero sales, and I had to struggle to figure out how to make it work in the first couple of years. Um, I'm glad that I had zero back then, or you know, the first after the first year, maybe I had a hundred fans or whatever. I'm glad I only had a hundred back then. You know, maybe after the second year, who knows, maybe it was 300 or whatever, but I'm glad I only had a few hundred back then because the George Cow now, it seems to me, is giving so much more value than the George Cow of 2009, 2013, or whatever. And, and the George Cow of 2030 is going to be giving so much more value per second, per offer, per course per month in the membership program than the George Cow of 2024. And so I find that's where I find my peace to see, okay, I, as I keep growing, I will growing myself and my systems, I will also deserve the external growth that happens. I hope that you will also look at this for yourself and find peace with where you are now versus the vision you have for your future. Thanks for joining me for this journey. I look forward to seeing your comments.